So today, my beautiful people, I guide you through how to get your hands on the latest exotic to Destiny 2, the Hawk Moon. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So let's get into it guys and step one is basically to get this quest where you have to pick it up from Spider on the Tangled Shore. And this step sees you having to find 5 feathers which on screen now you will see the locations to each with timestamps to all steps uh, to this quest uh, which can be found at the top of the comments section and within that video description. Digging around the forgotten shore again. I should probably check that out.
So after five feathers have been obtained, you then need to go and visit the crow upon the tangled shore. The next step is to complete the mission Cry From Beyond upon the EDZ, which sees you having to follow a golden crow around the map. It's relatively straightforward, people. forever when the Red Legion destroyed the tower. Upon completing this mission you then have to return to the crow, where your next step is to generate 50 orbs. And while this step is also quite straightforward, supers and masterwork weapons and any lost sector will see you getting this done super quick. Once you are done here, you then again have to return to the crow. The next step sees you having to investigate marked coordinates upon the EDZ. This can be a little pain in the ass to find, but once you find a secret passage to where you have to go, there are basic markers on the map of the coordinates as well as a boss which drops the final one. But I will leave this step to play for the people who might struggle here. This feather both exists and doesn't exist. It's a manifestation of potential energy. The choice between action and inaction. Keep an eye out for Taken. That's exactly the sort of thing Sabathun would love to get her spindly little hands on. Keep an eye out for Taken. That's exactly the sort of thing Sabathun would love to get her spindly little hands on. Not to worry you or anything, but there's definitely something going on here. What he means is that we've picked up numerous paracausal readings throughout the dam. And a number of very agitated taken. Not to worry you or anything, but there's definitely something going on here. What he means is that we've picked up numerous paracausal readings throughout the dam. And a number of very agitated taken. We'll handle Savathun's taken, but the other energy signatures are closer to you. Can you look into it? Don't mind the mess. Glint's a terrible maid. This is just where I come to get some distance when I need it. Some place to call my own. It's his crow's nest. I didn't drink that by myself in case you were curious. It absolutely is not. In fact, I didn't have any of it. After Glint brought me to life, I quickly came to realize that Guardians recognized me as whoever I was before. They weren't always kind, <laughs> so I took to wearing a helmet to hide my face before a spider. Even then, I rescued a warlock and her ghost once. She offered me a drink afterward, but I left before she came back with it. Something's happening. I'm detecting massive gravity distortions in the dam. Little tip from upstairs. When these Taken are destroyed, they'll collapse into singularities of paracausal energy. Use that to disrupt their shield. I don't know why the Taken blocked that wing off. There's just an old ship down there. Spider wanted me to junk it, but I... 
might have told him that I did and kept it for myself. Doesn't grind anymore. It was already in pretty bad shape before we got to it. And while Crow might be an excellent pilot, he, uh, he isn't exactly gentle with his ships. You then have to return to the crow where your next step is to defeat champions or guardians in Gambit or Crucible. Why did he was load up the 1250 Legend Lost Sector and run this over and over quitting out after killing the champions and loading straight back in? As you get between 3 and 4% for each champion, in Crucible you get 1% per kill which takes ages and for those not really skilled in PvP, it will take even longer. Gambit, well no one plays Gambit so forget about that. So upon killing those guardians or champions, the next step is to enter the Crow and the Hawk mission on the EDZ and reforge the Hawk Moon. This relatively straightforward mission or jumping puzzle, kind of both to be honest, sees you enter the same locations as that mission we did enter earlier on in the quest. The end of the mission sees you having to forge this weapon by killing Taken, picking up orbs, throwing them at bosses, taking off those bosses shields and just killing them. And well guys, when you've done this, that Hawk Moon is yours. It really is as simple as that and well people I hope this guide helps you out. On that note the end of the video has arrived I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on that next one.